I have an entire course to record today. Here's how I'm going to do it. 431 slides. Not all of them will take a minute, but I do have a few examples to edit. So before every section, I quickly review what I'm going to say so I can move through it quickly and efficiently. All right, I just reviewed the first section, so here's what I do next. I'm using Loom to record it, and I'm going to click Custom Size and Screen Only instead of Screen and Camera. Sometimes I just don't feel like having my camera on. Plus, if I decide to change my hair color again at some point, I won't have to redo everything. I use the Custom Size option to uh, pick the exact size of the slide. And then from there, I'm just going to scroll through and record it as I do. I think I can get this whole thing recorded in about three hours. Because I get distracted, I know I'm probably going to have to take a few breaks. So I imagine I'll get it done within the next probably four hours. An entire course. What I did before this so I could record quickly is I wrote out all the slide text and then my project manager, who's also my right-hand woman, she used one of the templates that we already had that we've made in the past for our slides and then added all the text that I had onto there. And that's pretty much the whole process. After I'm done recording it, the next step will be to take out any ums, likes, filler words. And I'll be able to do it with a click of the button. Like, no joke, literally a click of a button. Using Descript, which is honestly my favorite editing tool right now. From there, my VA will upload it into Vimeo, and then we'll embed it in Kartra. The reason I don't embed it straight away in Kartra is because if I ever do decide to move platforms, I don't want to have to re-download everything. It just seems like a much bigger pain than putting it in Vimeo first. And that way, if there's any glitches or anything like that, I have a backup copy in Vimeo. After that's done, we're also going to upload it into Hello Audio. So my students can get the entire course in a private podcast form as well. They'll have a special link that only they can access so they can listen and learn on the go. Or when they're waiting in the doctor's office or in parent pickup line or wherever they're at. After we upload the videos into Vimeo and then Kartra, the next thing we're going to do is make sure we have the transcripts as well. Since I'll already be using Descript, I'll probably just do it in there. That means our audience will be able to have the video, the audio, and I love that it's in a private podcast form so they can actually listen on their phone. The transcripts and this Black Friday, they're going to have lots of accountability also. So I feel so excited about getting this out there. Now it's just time for me to record. Oh, before I go, was this helpful for you? You may not be recording something today or creating a course or training or program today. But if you're going to at some point, you'll want to save this video so you can save yourself some time when it's time.